What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joven and Tonic Fan Crow Fam. I am back with some more bullish content for you guys in this video. We're gonna be diving deep into Tonic once again in this video, guys. And um, you know, the recent Binance FUD that is going around, which is very crazy, man. They're trying to FUD Binance into oblivion. They tried last year and they're still trying. The, uh, the guys in the suits, you know, the top elites are trying to bring prices lower because they missed the bottom entry and they're trying to take Binance down because that would be the only catalyst I could see that, uh, you know, brings us down to that 10k, 12k range for Bitcoin and then, you know, dumps the rest of the markets. But if they're unsuccessful, it's over with, guys. So we're going to cover it and see, you know uh what your thoughts are on it guys and we're gonna take a look at tonic and how it's growing because tonic is growing i'm telling you guys you might not see it in the price but price is just you know uh price will follow mass adoption and more and more people getting into the uh tonic ecosystem guys so it's just patience we're gonna dive deep into it as uh we always do guys Please be sure, if you're interested, to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Please go and check out my previous videos as well, guys. Let's get all of these to 1,000 views, 500 views a piece. Uh, it really helps. And if you can, please become a channel member. Uh, become a member to the channel so uh, you know I could get some support uh, as well so I could continuously make these videos for you guys. When we take a look at Tonic right now, 30,718 people on the watch list. Let's take a look at the Tonic Explorer. It's been a minute since we checked that out. Let's see how much holders we're sitting at right now, guys. The chrono scan. Let's see. Taking a bit of time to load. Let me give it a second. In that time, Tonic is back at $23 million in market cap, 276k in 24 hour trade volume. On the seven day, made a nice pop up when the market opened. I wonder how the stock market is, is uh, doing right now. Let's take a look. If we take a look at the stock market right now, we're seeing a bit of a retrace in the stock market after we had that nice open yesterday, that green open. So that's why we're having a bit of a retrace today. You know, uh, I wish we could have like a, a bullish week all week. <laughs> Nasdaq still looking a bit green. Uh, but yeah, we have a bit of a retrace right now. So, you know, that's going to affect our crypto markets as well. So we did have a nice pop up. Now we're having a bit of a retrace. We'll see what happens throughout the rest of the week. But yeah, all in all, we're still bullish, guys. Like the pro the chart is holding up so well. This is not, uh, you know, a pool coin, guys. This is a legitimate project with legitimate use case and utility. We take a look at the Explorer. Thirty six thousand three hundred and seventy two people. Uh that have uh, Tonic in their wallets. That's a lot of holders and that is great wallet distribution. I wanted to check out also the Twitter of Tonic and as you guys can see right here, 58,700 followers on the Twitter. Yesterday I checked uh, Tonic's Twitter following and it was around 58,000. So the numbers are growing, okay? It's growing, the project is growing consistently and they're showing a lot of love to Agent Double Zero who is a Tectonic ambassador and he's he's doing his tectonic tuesday uh twitter spaces you know so shout outs to him and all of the uh tonic fan marco let's go oscar will uh ribo uh alexandru crypto girl uh alex call you know shout outs to everyone here man should join in the twitter spaces and shout outs to Tonic as well for interacting with the community. This is how your community grows. This is how a project develops as far as the community side. And then you just keep de delivering on the use cases, right? We well, could see more activity on the Tonic Twitter. A lot of people had an issue with that. So now we're seeing that activity, right? That's super bullish. Also, a bit of inspiration, an inspirational tweet for you guys from Ben, ba uh, ben Buckwalter. Become the first millionaire or billionaire in your family. This is what you will accomplish, guys. You will retire your family. You will help those in need. You will travel the world. You will change the world. And you will leave a legacy for generations. That is possible through digital assets, through Crow and Tonic. And, you know, projects in that in, in the Kronos ecosystem that have great use case and are great projects, guys. And I see someone in the... Uh, tonic fam kenny ricky shout outs to you in the tonic and crow fam uh 
you know, hitting those bullseyes and that 100. And now we're going to get into the news about Binance and the BUSD foot, man. Like, they're, they're after Binance all of a sudden, you know, after FTX collapse, you know, there's been so much, you know, noise surrounding Binance. Like, they're really trying to take out Binance, whoever they are. And, you know, it's i think it's very calculated it's very calculated i really think it's the elites the big wigs who are in control of everything they're trying to uh because binance is still you know binance still has so much legitimacy to it and still has you know a bit of a, a great amount of decentralization it's not plain it's not playing games with uh like how sam batman freed was you know in the pockets of uh you know a lot of the elites if you do your research on that sbf was in the pockets of a lot of the elites and cz isn't right so that's why they're coming after it this much because it you know it's it's separate uh, binance has separated itself from the elites so duo 9 says this war between us entities and binance is real exactly the busd story is quickly coming to an end curious what binance will do next in the stable coin arena they could go decentralized and push that way that is the best way to go decentralized stable coins seem to be the next alternative right i wouldn't be shocked if uh the tonic team thinks about getting in a getting uh tip dipping their toes into setting up a decentralized stable coin but you have to collateral uh collateral uh what's the word collateralize it <laughs> my apologies you have to collateralize it with something you know that has intrinsic value you right maybe the chronos ecosystem as well could think about you know getting their own stable coin maybe backed by usdc usdt and other assets as well so it could be collateralized by multiple different assets so the chances of, of it going down similar to how um uh ftx and the ftt token did uh, or my, my apologies the luna uh ust stable coin did are you know way less way uh way less for that to happen right if it's backed by a bunch of different stable coins and assets like us like usdc tether die those are three big stable coins that have been around for the test of time and then you could separate the uh portfolio where it's you know 30 percent uh you 30 percent uh tether 40 percent usdc etc right and look at this tweet from Coinbase Assets. We regularly monitor the assets on our exchanges to ensure they meet our least listing standards. Based on our most recent reviews, Coinbase will suspend trading for BUSD on March 13th, 2023 on or around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Trading will be suspended on Coinbase.com and all of their affiliations, guys. Your BSD, BUSD funds will remain accessible to you and you will continue to have the ability with, to withdraw your funds at any time. They're really going after, you know, Binance, guys. Watch a guru Coinbase to suspend Binance, USD stablecoin trading. The foot against BUSD and Binance are, are made by men in suits from Whale Chart. And this I agree with. They're trying to cause FUD in the space because we're bullish. They don't want us to be bullish. They want to keep the prices low to accumulate as much as they can. They want to manipulate, right? And this is the official tweet from Coinbase where they uh, said they would delist um, BUSD. Man, it's crazy out here, guys. It's absolutely insane what we are seeing. What, what could this mean for the space as we know it? Well, um, we could see more bearish we could see if they if this unfolds and continues to unfold in a negative way we could see bearish a lot of bearish uh uh aspects uh markets uh in the future right we could see a lot of uh beers stepping out once again out of hibernation and then we get back to being bearish guys so we'll we'll keep an eye on it see what's see what happens it could also affect obviously the tonic chart the crow chart right remember guys if you take a look at the the charts all the charts right a lot of this crashing happened through what we what happened last year celsius voyager ftx right if binance and binance's affiliations you know actually go down it will be very bad <laughs> i'm hoping it doesn't i really don't think it will because uh cz you can't fade cz right 
but uh yeah just keep an eye out this is why i always say guys you dca into legitimate projects you dca diamond hand wait for the bull it's that simple tiny fam crow fam thank you guys so much for tuning in uh into this video i really appreciate all the support please be sure to like comment, subscribe hit that notification bell, notification bell share the videos and uh yeah let me get your thoughts in the comment section become a channel member to support the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace